What's up, people? Just come on in. Just come on in, everybody. Just come on in. Let me get this shit straight. Where all my sleaze balls at? Get on in here, baby. Get on in here. Just come on in. Just come on in, everybody. Just come on in. All right, guys. So today, oh, before I get started, let me make sure y'all know to go check out my book on Amazon for everybody who ain't got it. Make sure let me promote that out there. Go on Amazon and get that. The critically acclaimed. I always wanted to say that. The critically acclaimed. What the fuck does that mean? The critically acclaimed. What's that mean? It was not that good. What the fuck does that? Mean? Anybody know what the fuck critically acclaimed mean? All right. I, I don't know. It seems like some a lot of people are criticizing it, but they somehow made it sound like it was good. The critically acclaimed. All right, guys. So the first topic. Shout out my moderator, Doug, and this bitch. Doug is on his job early. Shout out to my man, Doug. Y'all go and subscribe to Doug, even though he don't got no fucking content. Just go subscribe to him anyway. What's up, Chesamane? My man, Chesamane. Y'all go check out my man, Chesamane. One day he a fitness channel, the next day he's a MGTOW channel. He don't know what the fuck he over there doing. But shout out my man, Chesamane. He's a fucking fitness MGTOW channel, god damn it. He making up his own goddamn shit. All right, let me let everybody get on up in here. Let my people get on up in here. All my sleeves, balls up in here. Can y'all hear me good? All right. Shout out my man, Doug, in this bitch. All right, guys, I wanted to talk about today underestimating the power of the mouthpiece all right because a lot of you guys underestimate the power of the mouthpiece all right a lot of you guys put everything on looks and your purpose which is good i want you guys focus on uh your looks and purpose i ain't finna be one of these dating coaches that tell you that shit don't matter but to bring it on home guys that mouthpiece has got to be on point that charisma got to be on point that seduction has to be on point all right if you don't got that all purpose and looks do guys is get you in the door that gets you the phone number that might get you the date but it won't get you the draws baby all right that's where that mouthpiece come in at. i want a lot of you guys to start focusing more on your mouthpiece all right as much as you focus on your purpose all right remember <clears throat> those things get you in the door but they won't get you the ass guys all right make sure you remember that all right i got a man up here my man d mac already in the super chats so AMS, I asked this question on your Patreon, but it's impossible to make insecure females to submit. And I forgot what the video link was to when you said stop messing with insecure women. When you say insecure females, do you mo mean low interest females to submit? Oh, man, we got a female. I don't understand the question, DMAC. Do a follow up on that. I don't think I quite understand what you're trying to ask me right now. China White. Oh, man, I got a girl supporting me. Appreciate that, China White. Much love, China White. I, I even had a girl, guys, who fucking left me a decent review on fucking Amazon. I can't believe it, all right? Better than that bitch, Alan Roger Kerr. That fucking bitch, that little nappy head fucker. Oh, you know what? That son of a bitch, he done got his hair cut now, guys. Let's give it up. I want everybody clapping for Alan Roger Kerr for getting that nappy ass haircut. He keep it cut now, guys. He keeps it cut. That's good. Now we got to get that little dusty bastard bath, guys. We going to make that old bastard bay. That's one dusty looking motherfucker, guys. That son of a bitch. I had a female come on fucking Amazon and give me a better review than that fucking dusty bastard. I right, appreciate that, China White. I much love right there. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. Yeah, everybody give it up for ARC getting that nappy ass head cut. Everybody give it up, baby. Give it up. Now, guys, now we got to start another GoFundMe for Alan Roger Curry, guys. We got to start another GoFundMe. We got to get that dusty bitch a bath, guys. All right? That's what we on right now. I am dedicated to getting that little dusty bastard a fucking bath. All right, and get him out of his mama basement. All right, so he got his hair cut. He fixed half the problem. All right, he got 
he got half the problem fixed. Now we got to get him out of his mama basement and we got to get that bastard of bath. All right. Shout out Jason Hunter. Appreciate that, brother. Appreciate that, brother. Shout out Nathan Ross. Nathaniel. All right, let me get a uh, let me get one of my sleeves balls in here. Let me get one of my sleeves balls in here. Yo, bro, what's up? Hello? What's up, bro? Hello? What's up, bro? Speak up. Yeah, but uh, I got a question real quick, Amos. Go ahead. Hey, so this this girl last night told me like, hey, uh, I spent things on you. So when I talked talk to a friend, she told me she was like, uh, why am I being aggressive? Say that again, huh? So last night I was, I was uh, out in the club, mm -hmm. and this girl came to me, and she was like, I friend think you're cute. Mm -hmm. So I, I want to talk to a friend. And I want to talk to a friend, and a friend was like, "What did my friend tell you? Being aggressive?" Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was kind of confused what she meant because I was like, "If you think I'm cute, then I'll make you approach." You know what I'm saying? I don't really quite understand what you're saying, bro. You're kind of a little breaking up at the end right now. You sound like you're saying your friend. No, like, okay, okay. I, I, I was standing, right? I was just standing, just chilling. And, mm -hmm. uh, a friend came to me like, my friend, think you're cute. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, then mm -hmm. we'll just speak to a friend. Mm -hmm. And the friend was like, oh, when my friend know you, because mm -hmm. she made it seem like I was being aggressive. I came to speak to her, I'm like, what's the, what, what's the name? Mm -hmm. but, I, but I got a number. I got a number. Just saying, is that a speed test or is she just like, what do you mean by aggressive? No, bro. As long as you got the number, now nah, just go from there. All right? It don't really matter what. It was a shit test or none of that bullshit. You got the number? Yeah, I got the number. I'm just trying. I'm, I'm going to wait for like a, a week to like uh, make the call, you know, because I felt like she was just like, it's older than me, so she was like, I ain't trying to date no younger guys. I've dated many younger guys. It didn't work out. Well, you know, if you got the number on the weekend, you know, I normally wait a week if, like, say I got a girl number on a Wednesday, all right? So let's hypothetically say I got a girl number on a Wednesday. I would wait till the next Wednesday or Thursday to ask out for that Saturday or something like that. If you got the number on Saturday, last night, then I probably hit up Wednesday or Thursday to ask out for next weekend. Because, see, if you wait a week, you're going to wait till next Saturday. You're going to wait till next Saturday to hit up. And, and then, so... And then you're going to ask out for the following weekend. So then that means she's probably going to expect you to contact her again in between the date. All right. So if I get a number like on Wednesday or Thursday, I wait a week. If I get a number on Saturday, then I'll probably hit up Wednesday or Thursday to ask out for that Saturday. All right. By doing so, by doing that, that means that she don't expect me to call her again in between the date. So y'all guys got to be, you know, planning this shit out now. If you if you going to take a girl out, and you want to take her out on a Friday or Saturday, you want to hit up about 48 hours before that. That way she don't expect you to call her again in between then, in between the date, all right? So if you got the number last night, I would actually hit her up probably Wednesday or Thursday. That's that's rare that I, you know, I get a number on Saturday, but if I do get a number on Saturday, then I would just wait. I would hit the girl up Wednesday or Thursday, probably Thursday, bro. That's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So that's four and a half days, all right? So that's good enough time and ask God for Saturday. If you wait a week now, then that means you're trying to ask out for the following week. All right, that's that's too that's too much time. Only do the week if you get the number in between the in the in between the days. If you get it like on Saturday night, then probably hit up that following that coming Thursday. Did you get that? Yeah, I appreciate that. Though. One more thing, that one more thing. appreciate that for real thing. Mm -hmm. One more thing is that, hey man, one of the realest things you said on your channel is on purple. Get on your purple, uh, you know, like. Uh, it makes you feel some kind of arrogance. It makes you feel good about yourself, you know, just doing your... Uh. Okay, bro. All right, man. Be good, bro. I'm doing. All right, bro. I need to appreciate it. I was having a hard time understanding him. But uh, that's the thing, guys. So, guys, you know, going forward... If you get a girl number on Saturday, probably hit up that coming Thursday. If you get a girl number between the week, Monday to Friday or something like that, 
then you can wait a week. But if you get a number on Saturday and you wait a week, you're going to wait to next weekend. And then what you're going to do, you're going to try to set the date for the following weekend. So then in that situation, she's probably going to expect you to call. Oh, you didn't call to confirm. I hadn't heard from you. I made up the plans. All right. So y'all guys, what'd you say, Doug? Oh, shit. Let me let me see. I missed a super chat. All right. Appreciate that, Doug. Uh... Now, what I was saying, Doug, is I ain't understand this question. All right, I'm tell him to send it back. Oh, do you take your rotation girls out? Yeah, guys, guys, listen here. Ain't nobody above getting kicked out the rotation. All right, if your ass ain't behaving, your ass get kicked out the rotation. Now, me, I like to put your ass in the friend zone. Like girls, I'm dating and shit like that. That's in my rotation. We can go out, we can have drinks, we can go dance, and whatever the case may be. As long as you behaving. I reward your ass. As long as you behave and I'll keep you in the rotation. Your ass act up, your ass going into the friend zone. Siberia. That means Tuesday night at nine or Wednesday night at nine. All right. Or a slow ass rainy Sunday. That's what your ass get when you behave. You get Sunday at 8 p.m. All right. That's what you get. You don't get no date. You get dick. All right. So if a girl's misbehaving, and she ain't acting right or she acting masculine, whatever the case. Guys, do not just kick these girls out your rotation. I am telling your ass, you better put their ass up for a rainy day. All right? D-Mac, my ex, it's hard to get rid of chicks you had a chemistry with when you've been together over years. Sometimes she always bring up my hoes when I tell her to do something. So what? So my man D-Mac, the problem he's having right here is he hasn't made this woman submit yet. And so this is what happens when y'all guys haven't made this your woman submit. He, you, D Mac, you want your girl to just submit because you have hair on your chest. All right. Y'all guys just want women to respect you just because it don't work that way. It don't work like that in nothing in life. All right. Respect is earned, not given. D Mac, you haven't earned her respect. That's why you're getting all this bullshit. That's why you're getting all that back talk. All right. So, what you need to do, and I know it scares the shit out of you beta cucks out there. What you need to do, what he has to do is he has to pull all the way the fuck back and let her come to him. All right. And when she contacts you, D-Mac, you ask her how she's willing to make it up to you because you did not like her behavior at the end. All right. That's how you handle it. And when she do answer that, let her know she will be sucking a whole lot of dick. A whole lot, not a little bit of dick, a whole lot. Well, some of you white boys might got a little bit of dick, but y'all get what I'm saying, all right? So, D-Mac, you have to have some balls, back away from your woman, let her come from... See, this is the thing. Nobody want to do that. Everybody afraid of losing their ass. Scared Dirty Dick Rodney going to come in the back door while you gone, and now you don't listen to AMS, and now you ain't got no girl. But you want her to respect you just because you have hair on your chest it don't work that way you want a woman to respect you when she act up let her know that you can walk you might lose your girl i ain't telling you that you won't so don't come back on this super chat crying that you lost your girl because i'm telling you if you leave she might you know you might not hear from her again all right so get that through y'all head right now that's how you earn women respect that's how you get them to submit all right not arguing not trying to loud talk them Shout out to my boy Doug in here, faithful. Ask me 85. Appreciate the super chat, brother. Ryan Spinners, how do you how to use being a single father to your advantage? Pros and cons. I'm on no child support 50-50 schedule on good terms with baby mama, no drama. Listen, it don't matter if you are a single father. I don't give a fuck if you got a little buffalo at home. All right. If you have your shit together and your mouthpiece is on point, it don't fucking matter, all right? And this is the thing. If you're a good father and shit like this right here, you getting your job, you showing a woman, you'll be a nice beta male provider. Nice. Ryan Spinners, you let a woman know right off the bat, I'm a nice beta male provider. Yeah. I take care of my kids. I'm up to date on all my child support. I don't own the state nothing. There you go, Ryan Spindle. That's how you handle that, bro. That's how you just play. You just, hey, 
play that beta male provider. I take care of all my kids. You know, <clears throat> some men expect a trophy for doing what they're supposed to do, taking care of their kids. Saw two hippos fucking with Lucario and Union Swell. <laughs> ah, fuck that shit. Shout out, Ballhead Jamaican. Ain't nobody better than me. Middle class donate. Appreciate that. If y'all want to see a nice ball-headed motherfucker riding around in a car talking shit, check out my man Ballhead Jamaican channel. He over there kicking good game. A well-educated brother, or at least a knowledgeable brother. I don't know if he's educated, but he's damn sure knowledgeable, and I appreciate his intelligence. He's a, a thoughtful brother. Let me say that. That's a better way of saying he's a thoughtful brother. Shout out my man JSPK fitness in this bitch gained a lot of subscribers this past week y'all make sure y'all go over there and check out my moderator spk fitness in this motherfucker shout out did he did an interview with o'shea uh, about him three weeks ago or something like that shout out spk fitness on his way up in this motherfucker all right let me get to another phone call yo yo what's up bro Yo, 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 yo. Damn, is this motherfucker moving furniture? All right, let's try somebody else. Yo, what's up, bro? Yo. What's up, bro? Yo, I am a do the ass looking dance. <laughs> Who? Hey, press one if you want the ass licking dance. If you want to see the ass looking dance, let me yo, see. Yo, yo, this Blue Falls want the ass looking dance. Huh? Say what, bro? Yo, they want it, bro. They I, want I, it, bro. I need to see some ones. I need to see ones. I, I, I don't give out the ass looking dance for free. All right, I need to see some ones. All right, here we go. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? This is a bestseller, baby. This is a bestseller. You know what, guys? I actually haven't did the ass licking dance in a while, guys, because all my bitches are acting right. See, the ass licking dance get kicked in when a bitch is acting out of pocket, and I got to pull back. And when she come back, she got to lick a whole lot of ass, all right? So I actually haven't had to break out the ass licking dance in a minute, all right? So... Maybe I'm holding my masculine frame better. I don't know what the fuck it is. Maybe it's because I'm a best-selling author. I don't know what the fuck it is. I just know that lately I haven't had to break out the ass licking dance. And hopefully, guys, you know, I look at the ass licking dance as, you know, like nuclear bombs. All right. Like, you know, America don't like to use, don't want to use nuclear bombs, but it's there if they need it. All right. And that's what the ass licking dance is for. It's there if I need it. I don't want to break out the ass licking dance, but if I have to, if I have to, I will use it. It is something in my arsenal. All right, bro, what you got? All right, bro, that was funny as fuck. But um, so so um, this bitch I was talking to, she went to college about like two hours away from me, and uh, she invited me over to her apartment. Like mm -hmm. about yesterday, mm -hmm. and I go, and uh, the logistics of sex was actually pretty good from your videos and shit. Mm -hmm. Like I knew that I could fuck, and then I go there, and then she was putting up walls and shit, and wouldn't let me fuck. Mm -hmm. So I, so I don't know what to do. Like, should I just pull all the way back? No. Uh, what happened was, bro, you didn't seduce her right. So you know, you got to how you was trying to break down her barrier. You weren't doing it right. You weren't making her feel comfortable, all right? You got to, and listen, guys, listen. When a woman, when you trying to have sex with a woman for the first time, all right, and unless you advanced or some shit like this, I can tell you right now, if you're trying to have sex with a woman for the first time, and, and this even go for women my age, it can turn into something like a whole hour, and, and I'm or longer. And so, you know, what I do is I don't even engage in it you see, what's happening is you guys are engaging in it right from the get-go. As soon as you sit down, you go to, rah, 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 rah. I got to get her clothes off. Instead of chill, relax. Like, I don't even make a move for 30 minutes. Chill. 
What's what's the her? Daddy coming home? What's 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 going on? All right, it's a period finish start or something. She getting she tripping. What's the hurry? Let us stew 30 minutes, chill. What's happening is as soon as you walk through the door, you going red foot thighs and ass. You gotta relax. Yeah, it ain't it's it's okay. It's gonna be okay. 30 minutes, you chill. You're not even talking about sex. Let the woman get comfortable. With women, everything comes down to being comfortable. So you got to chill, all right? So next time you go, if, if you get another chance, if you ain't freaking the fuck out, if you get another chance, you got to be patient with this. And and say when she put up one wall, like say you go to, you know, touch or something and she stop you or whatever the case may be, chill, 10, 15 minutes, chill, relax. You know what I'm saying? You, you're trying to do too much too soon. You got to relax. This shit can turn into an hour or two, all right? That's any OG <clears throat> that seduce women they'll tell you this shit sometimes takes a minute all right to get a woman comfortable it's just the way it is bro everybody has to go through it i go through it but i know what to do now you know what i'm saying i know what to do when when i when i bring a woman over hey, I, yo. yeah go ahead yo bro so should i pull all the way back now so i don't look too thirsty no i would wait a week and then call and try to set up another date all right that's what that's what i would do and just take it as a learning experience and if she says no, then I'll just take it as an L and move on and say, fuck. All right. Because here's the thing, man. I didn't get to where yeah. I'm at by doing everything right. I got to where I'm at in my skill level from fucking up a lot. All right. That situation you done done, I done did that shit countless times in the past. So I already know what you did. You tried to do the shit too fast. You moved too fucking fast. Let the woman stew, relax, chill. Yeah. All right. So going forward, even if you don't get another date, going forward, just take it as a learning experience. Y'all guys... I, I one thing I can tell from being on YouTube, guys hate taking shit as learning experience. Take L's as learning experience. It happens, guys. All right. So don't worry about it. Wait a week, get right. up for another date. If she don't say take it as a learning experience, next time you know to do better. All right, bro. All Please. right, bro. Be good, bro. All right. Shout out my man Sealess Deeds. If one of your women asks you for money, what do you tell them? All right, so Celis D's never give a woman money, ever. Uh, um, okay, uh, unless it's an emergency. It's like say some stupid like uh, a transmission or something go out, and it's a girl you really fucking with or something like that, like some serious like that, right there, whatever the case may be. But let's hypothetically say she's just asking you money for just. I'm just gonna ask him for seventy five dollars for no fucking reason. All right, for no fucking reason. I just hey, let me get seventy five dollars. I'm a little short on my cable bill. Fuck no. If an emergency happened or something like that right there, I, you know, with my family, my friends, or even the girls I'm dating, if emergency happened, transmission or something go out, you know, yeah, I help out anybody. It ain't gotta be just a girl I'm dating if it's an emergency. But I don't, I don't let nobody just hit me up for money just because they want to go do some dumb shit. All right. So if it was, if it's something you could see like a roof is leaking or something shit like that, like an emergency, some shit that's un, for, unforeseen. Then yeah, man, you know, ain't no problem. As long as it don't hurt your pocket, all right. As long as it ain't something crazy. But if it's uh just she just want eighty dollars just because I saw this blouse, oh uh, fuck no. All right. Now that's just me. All right. I know some guys gonna say, never give a bitch money. It with me, I'm giving anyway, guys. I'm giving with my family and friends, as long as I know it's something that I could see that is needed, that's an emergency. I help out anybody. All right. So only if this is an emergency, brother. All right, don't be no fucking trick. Jerome Boyd, thank you, AMS. Listen to save my, my marriage. <laughs> Listen to you save my marriage. Appreciate that, Jerome Boy. I'm going to go on a limb and say probably getting you back on your purpose, probably. I guarantee. How to overcome objections from women that say they don't go out with guys that have dated their friends. Fuck them. That's, that's how you. So here's the thing, guys. I know y'all love when I say, here's the thing, God damn it. I'm going to keep saying it. That's that God damn it. Here's the thing, guys. Y'all guys got to understand. I don't give a fuck if a woman don't want to go out with me because I'm bald. I don't give a fuck if a woman don't want to go out with me because I got a beard. I don't give a fuck if a woman don't want to go out with me because I got big feet. All right? It's fucking over 4 billion women in the world. All right? Move the fuck on. Who gives a flying fuck if this bitch don't want you because you dated one of her friends? Who cares, Patrick uh, Bradley? Fuck her. All right? Women do this. Women do get on that bullshit 
where they find out, you know, y'all guys don't know that a lot of women, when you get them they, your number and shit, they go run a background check and see who you fuck with and, you know, not a background check to see if you got any felonies. No, 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 no. They got to run a background to make sure you ain't fuck none of their friends, all right? Because God forbid if I fuck a dude that fuck one of my friends, I couldn't live with myself, all right? So if it comes back, and I had a girl I fucked at the club one time, and I damn near fucked all the girls in the club the bartenders at the club and then she go to find out i fuck one of the bartenders but it was too late i already had got them draws and she told me why you didn't tell me and i'm thinking to myself because you wouldn't have gave me no ass bitch that's why i didn't tell you so guys don't worry about this right here you're gonna run into this shit when women do their background check and all this now the bullshit don't worry about it take it as a l say fuck you know women women find out you fucked a girl that they was best friends with in the second grade bitch be 55 years old Talking about some girl she was best friends with in the second fucking grade and, and, and found out you for oh I can't oh no you fucked my friend I ain't seen her in 40 years but that was my friend ask me 85 alpha girl try to control our relationship seduce me to do what she wants I let her chase me I don't let her hit my purpose how do I how do I get her to submit man ask me is you a runaway slave what the fuck is this? I was gonna let her hit me. I don't let her get off my puppets. All right, so <laughs> all right, let me let me try to slow this down and read this shit again because I don't read slave, but let me try to see. Alpha girl, <laughs> alpha girl try control our relationship, seduce me to do what she wants to do. <laughs> I let her chase me. I don't let her hit my purpose. How do I get her to submit? So here's the thing, guys. All right, with anything, with getting a woman to submit, always, this is the only way you can get a woman to submit, unless you're going to go the Ike Turner route, all right, which I don't want none of you guys going. And and and, and quite frankly, guys, if you watch the movie, I know it's just a movie, y'all know Tina never submitted, right? So, you know, going that route, it, it, it's counterproductive because, you know, women can't even respect that so they just a dude that's violent and shit like that they just buck and fight their ass back so you ain't gonna get no woman to submit like that if you've seen the movie uh, tina turtle movie and shit you know she never submitted all right because women can't even respect a man that don't know how to make them submit that's why she constantly was fighting like back and shit because she women look at dudes like that as a, a pussy and shit but the way you always get women to submit guys if they not following your program all right or what you want to do you leave the situation you leave the situation and she come back now you got submission all right that's the only way you're gonna get a woman to submit all right that's the only way i haven't figured out another fucking way all right loud talking ain't gonna do it thumping your chest ain't gonna do it none of that bullshit do it even hitting a woman doesn't do it all right all you're gonna end up is a domestic violence charge all right the only way you get a woman to submit is to walk away and she pursues you after that that puts her in a weak position all right that's how you make a woman submit. That's it, guys. Now she knows what happens when she don't follow your program. You'll leave. You don't talk loud. You don't smack her. You don't do none of that bullshit. She knows now. Oh, shit. This motherfucker will haul ass. All right? So ask me. All right? That's what you tell Harriet Tubman. Eyes are going to let her chase me. That's what you tell Harriet. All right? You leave Harriet. And when Harriet pursues you, you make Harriet submit. That's how you do that, brother. All right, Dion T. Muscle. Tips for getting new women in busy environments like downtown at work where most people got headphones on on a rush or at the gym. All right, so my thing is with this Dion T. Muscle, and I'm going to give y'all a perfect case in point. Got off the train the other day, seeing this hot little thing walking down the street, and I she could tell the way I was looking. Boy, I was getting ready. I was... You know, she, she wasn't even choosing me and I was going to holler. She wasn't choosing me, but them pants she had on, they were choosing. All right. She wasn't choosing me. I'm not going to lie. She she wasn't choosing me, but them damn pants she had on, whoo, boy, they were choosing. And so I was going to make an approach. You know what she did? She put that phone up to her like she talking. Bitch, how the fuck you talking? Who the fuck pick up the phone on the first ring? She put the phone up to her ear. Duh, 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 duh. Bitch, ain't nobody answer the phone that quick. And I'm looking at her. And the reason she did that, guys, is she didn't want to be bothered. 
All right, that's what we're talking about here, people. She didn't want to be bothered. So people with headphones on, I I, I rock my headphones on too because New York got a lot of homeless people that bother you walking down the street and shit like that. But uh, damn, I can't even slow this super chat down. But uh, that's that's the thing with that, guys. When people got headphones on and shit like that, leave them the fuck alone. All right, guys? So that's the issue with that. All right? That bitch going to answer the phone. Who the fuck answered the phone on the first fucking ring? You know what I'm saying? And listen, guys, I tell you guys to let women choose you. All right? She wasn't choosing me. I'm not going to even lie. But them damn pants and her hips, oh, they were choosing. Oh, they were choosing. Woo, boy, they were choosing. Woo, All right, my man, Reese, Reese Lerato, I have a few women I got on Snapchat. How can I start a conversation? What can I say? Get your ass off Snapchat. You know, I wish I could just, whenever y'all guys hit one of these girls up on Snapchat, I wish i just pop up out that goddamn inbox and hit you upside your goddamn head. If you don't get your ass off that goddamn Snapchat trying to talk to women, you know, I, I you know, I wish I create a day nap. And every time one of you motherfuckers hit one of these girls on one of these goddamn Instagram or Facebook, I just take a, I pop up with a baseball bat and bust you upside your goddamn head. All right, you ain't nothing but a goddamn fan on social media. All right, stop trying to figure out a way to hit girls up on Snapchat. They don't want to be bothered with your ass. They just trying to figure out a way to get more fucking followers so they can promote more shit and make more money they don't want to be bothered with your ass all right they hitting up diddy and all this and that shit and your ass hitting up them they don't want to be bothered with your ass all right ams what do you do when you get a woman over at your house after the second date how do you proceed to seduce her after letting her get comfortable for about 30 minutes <clears throat> all right so what he basically trying to say is how to seduce a woman all right so I actually got a video on uh, creating sexual attention and shit like that. And basically, man, is you got to take two steps forward, one step back. All right. A woman is going to slow you down. All right. I got to answer these questions quick now because I got all these super chats and I don't want none of them to come off the screen. But you got to, you know, you you go forward. You, you know, you go forward. You kiss on the neck and you rub it on the thigh. She's going to stop you. Each time you guys proceed back into seducing the woman, you try to progress a little bit further, small, all right? You don't jump right to her fucking boobs and her vagina, guys, all right? You, you go to small, innocent spots, her neck, her thigh first, all right? She probably still going to stop you, but don't go straight to the good stuff. You got to let the good stuff marinate, man. Y'all guys, man, y'all just, lot of the boobs. Just calm your hot ass down, all right? Everything going to be all right. We, you know, we going to get there. I'm going to get y'all there. All right, calm your ass down. We're going to get there. I'm going to get you to the boobs and the ass and all that stuff. But you got to go through the bullshit first. You got to rub a kneecap and all this other bullshit. Not a kneecap, guys, but a thigh and shit like that right there. All right. But the thing is, two steps forward, one step back, guys. Two steps forward, one step back. All right, you want you got to let the woman ease into it, guys. E when y'all stick y'all dick in these women, do y'all just put the whole stick, the whole thing in, right? Like, that. Yeah, you got to ease that thing up in there. Man, you got to put the head, and then you got to rub around a little bit, let it get a little bit more moist, and then you go a little bit further. Y'all just gotta calm down. God damn. These dudes, man. All right, China White. Appreciate that, China White. SPK Fitness. What's up, brother? My brother, uh, SPK Fitness, I can honestly say that I feel more com confident after losing weight. And I know that women can sense that. We must do the self-improvement. Appreciate that, SPK Fitness. That's 100. All right, y'all guys already know I'm not going to give y'all that fluff bullshit. You come over here, you're going to get the real shit. And, of course, if you feel better about yourself, you're going to be more confident. All right? Y'all go over there and check out my man, SPK Fitness. He over there dropping knowledge on fitness. He got a fitness channel. Make sure y'all go check the man, the brother out. Good content. Actually had a video now that's got almost 20,000 views. Congratulations on my brother, SPK Fitness. I know how good that feel. The girl asked when we could hang out and then ignored me when I told her when. What should I do? <clears throat> Ignore you when I told when she told you when. All right. So the thing is, guys, a lot of these times, I, I don't I don't know how long it's been, but a lot of these times these women will go disappear for two or three days and then she'll tell you uh when or four days, whatever the case may be. You can't double text her. 
all right or hit up again like oh she didn't see the message all right she's probably testing your value probably a shit test or whatever the case may be she could have forgot to get back to you whatever the case may be who gives a fuck but at the end of the day you never hit a girl back up again if you put the ball out there in her court she got to hit you back it ain't no checkup hey did you get my last test what the fuck you seen that damn message say deliver all right you see that shit deliver that mean it came through all right so now you got to wait if she don't respond that means that she saved you 20 bucks for some drinks because that means that you probably had no chance to fuck and she probably just gonna use you for free attention so she did you a favor all right you guys have to start looking at women who you know do shit like this as women that did you a favor stop hating women like this and appreciate women like this because this could be a woman that could say yeah you know let's go out i was waste 30 you ain't gonna smell it but hey you know if you want to give me some drinks so i can fuck my boyfriend after you leave you go right ahead chump all right so you guys need to understand that that start appreciating women like this who just ghost if that's what she done all right y'all guys got to understand that women you know play the game too she could be test a shit test she could hit you up in three or four they could hit you up in a week I i'm dead serious guys hey that, 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 there it go. Hey, you know, you know what? We're gonna start when a woman do that. So I'm gonna say, hey, bitch. That's why for now, when a woman go with that hey shit after she done disappeared for say, hey, bitch. That's what you say. Now nah, don't do that, guys. Don't do that. Y'all ain't gonna get no ass doing that shit. Don't do that shit. All right, Kevin Laborty, how to get over my ex. I think I love her. She have a big ass, and I'm 16. All right, so you are 16 and she has a big ass, and you can't get over. So when I hear that. I can see why you lost them. All right. Who sounds like they putting somebody on a pedestal, guys? Who sounds like so y'all know when he was interacting with her, that came off in the interaction, guys. Y'all do realize that, right? So when he was with her, he probably displayed a lot of insecurities. All right. He probably said a lot. Who who calling your phone? When was you last night? Understand that when you see a guy doing shit like that, you're looking at a guy that display insecurities in the relationship i love her she got a big old ass yeah and when you was with her you worshiped the ground she walked on and you sitting there looking at her, oh, I love her. <laughs> and and she felt that shit that you getting weak and you turned her off that's what we happened that's what happened there bro all right you sitting there all you know blurry eyed and Acting like you ain't never seen a woman before and all this and that bullshit, and the woman lost interest. All right? So don't do shit like that, guys. Don't put women on pedestals and shit like that, or you're going to be like my man right here coming on a, a super chat. Right? I love her. She, she got a fat ass. And, yep, and now he's crying and he's begging and he's jacking off every night. All right? I don't want you guys doing it. I want you guys. She's supposed to be wondering what the fuck you doing. All right, that comes. All right, all right. So, all right, let's get some more phone calls, people. Oh, oh, some more money. Tommy Walls, how should I approach a girl wife at university who isn't on her course? Who isn't on my course? Course, like I'm in cool and clubs, but I find it harder whilst in the university itself. So when you say on your course, that means like in your classes, I'm taking it. All right. So basically what you're saying is it's harder to pick up the girls at your university opposed to when you at the clubs and some shit like that. That's how I'm, that's how I'm taking it. Guys, here's the thing. And there it is. Here's the thing. I said this once and I said it again, guys, it don't matter if you meet a woman at the club. It don't matter if you meet a woman at the university. It don't matter if you meet a woman at the hospital. It don't fucking matter where you meet the fucking woman. If a woman finds you attractive and you make a fuck, you make a manly masculine approach. All right. If you guys don't believe in choosing signals and <clears throat> listen, that's what I do. Y'all don't got to do it or whatever. And like I said, may maybe she wasn't choosing you. Maybe her book bag was choosing you. I don't know. But if you see a woman that you like, that you're attracted to, you got to go right then because she knows you want her. All right. Women, women see everything. You know, y'all guys think they don't see. They see all oh, he want me. He want me. Y'all, y'all guys have no idea the peripheral women got. Oh, he want me. And so now what happens is if you go around this woman right now, she going to know this guy took him a whole month to build up the courage to come and approach me. 
All right, do y'all think a woman want to talk to somebody like that? All right, so you guys, if y'all don't believe in the choosing signals, and that's what I do, you ain't, ain't nobody got no gun in your head making you wait on choosing signals, all right? You can go up and approach a woman and ask her out what she'd like to go out sometime. Introduce yourself first and ask what she'd like to go out sometime. Either she gonna like what she see or she don't, but at the end of the day, if you wait like this, like he doing, this woman already peeped out this good dude been uh, peeping her out. She already know he want me, he want me, that dude want me. And he ain't made no approach. All right, that's no confidence. All right, so it don't really matter. The thing is, guys, you can't hesitate. All right, you're going to lower a woman's interest like that. You can't fucking hesitate. All right, all right, Tommy Wobbs, don't fucking hesitate, brother. All right, Zing David, hey, bro, can you check my last question? What was it? What was it, Zing David? Because this shit was moving fast, man. Guys, listen, if I miss a question, when you send this super chat back, don't send me a super chat back and say, hey, did, can you read my last question? How about just put the question on the new super chat? All right, let, let's let's do that. All right. Shout out my man, JSPK Fitness in here holding it down. All right, let's get some more phone calls. Yo, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? Hello? What's up, bro? Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, what's up, bro? Yeah, bro. Hey, man. What's good? What's good? What's good? Hey, man. Hey, uh, I got a quick question real quick. Go ahead. All right. One time, I had a one-night stand with this girl. Everything was cool. Mm -hmm. uh, two weeks after, two weeks after, she texted me like, hey, can't see you no more. I got a boyfriend now or something like that. Mm -hmm. And she just started talking to me. So last night, I saw her at the club last night. It was like, hey, you fun. Like, you don't say what's up to me, be ignoring me. I'm like, what you mean? You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like girls be always playing the mind game. Like, they, they go ghost and they come back and try to make you see it's a fault. Well, here's the thing, bro. <clears throat> Whenever a woman pull away from you like that, just move on. All right? Y'all guys getting sprung up over these one girls. I don't give a fuck what happened. I don't care if a nuclear bomb went off in the house. All right? Whatever the reason, when a woman walk away, just move on. If she hits you up in the future going forward, you don't ask her out. Let her ask you out. All right? Don't bring it up at all. When a woman when a woman do shit like that right there, and, and if she do hit you up, keep the interaction brief. Don't become her fucking little attention whore, boy. All right? Keep that interaction because now she's probably trying to use you for emotional... Your know, tampon why for her boyfriend dogging out and now she get to dump her you know her, her, her garbage on you <clears throat> keep that short and when she do interact with you don't ask her out all right that's how you handle that don't worry about what's going on with that or what what that sign meant i think i think she want me back man when she wants you back she'll hit you up and be like hey when i'm gonna see you again other than that just move on with your life did guy these are one yeah, women yeah. yeah go ahead bro yeah, she was like, hey, you should text me, you got my number. No, like, no, 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 no. No, no. So, 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 like, you no. Know what I'm saying? But, and the thing, the thing is, uh, she, she ate my ass and everything was smashing. She ate my ass. Mm -hmm. but she felt so good. Mm -hmm. So, I, I don't know. But she was a freak, though. So like, damn. No, 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 no. Ain't, ain't, ain't no freak. She lost the traction. All right? She lost the traction. Y'all guys stop talking about a woman is a freak or this, that, and the other. All, right? all women are pretty much freaky. All right? Some ain't going to sleep around, but all women are pretty much freaky with their man. So some women sleep around with a lot of guys, but even the most you know conservative girl, when you get her with a, her boyfriend, she's going to be freaky. So stop saying the woman was freaky. Her, she had high interest. All right? I guarantee you some fat dude who's been in her friend zone for 15 years don't think she's freaky. She was freaking with you because she had high interest and you did shit to lower it. And this is what you guys are doing at the lower. All right. As a woman, you know, do freaky shit with y'all. Y'all guys are getting y'all head blown. And then y'all start giving the women more validation. You start spending more time with the woman. And then her attraction starts to go here. All right. So when you didn't care that much, you was doing everything right. And then as you start to develop feelings, you start to do shit wrong. And when I say validation, man, I mean just the way you look at her. Just the way just the way you look at her, touch her, every fucking thing. All right, she can tell this motherfucker again. Yep, he done all week. All right? So, and that's when she got weak. And now the dude she's with, women are attracted to strength. 
Not that shit y'all see in movies about the dude they with and they sitting in the park holding hands and the little hearts coming out of his head and the little hearts coming out of his head. That shit's in the movie. In the real world, when the dude get hearts coming out of his head, the woman loses fucking attraction because you getting weak. Women hate weak ass men. All right? You can care about your fact, woman, fact, but you can never fact. get weak for her. I appreciate that, Amos. One, one last thing so I get up the line, man. One last thing about mm -hmm. Papa's, about Papa's, all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so I'm on my Papa's right now. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm trying to be a music video producer. I'm just working hard every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, how do you know, you know, sometimes it's hard. It's not to be sorry. It's not to be like, it's motivation. I stay motivated. Just keep doing you. Just keep grinding. Even when people are not recognizing your, your hard work. So you saying you having a hard time staying focused on your purpose? Is that what you're trying to say? No, I'm saying like, how do you stay motivated? Like, just keep doing. Like, you know, when you're grinding and you're right. not paying up, right? Just keep grinding. So this is the thing that keep coming up about guys want to know how you know stay focused. This is and this is why I keep going back and telling you guys, y'all guys got to find something you love to do. All right, if see what if you are doing something, I bet you I ain't got to tell you how to stay motivated to get some ass, do I? Uh, I bet you. I ain't but man, then you get outside and go get some. I get I guarantee you got plenty of energy to do that, right? Because you enjoy doing it. All right. So y'all guys are looking at y'all purpose as something that's gonna pay a lot of money, probably, or something like that. And it's got to be something that you have a general passion for. All right. That's what it's about. It's something that you can work 60 to 80 hours a week and feel like, man, I can't believe you know, I get paid to do that. That's what, and if you having that, if you having that issue with your purpose, and this goes for all you guys out there, you need to reevaluate and do some uh, soul searching on what do you generally have a passion for. All right, that's the thing. If if, if you having a hard time staying motivated and keep going, you are not on your purpose. You are doing something, but it's obviously not your purpose. It's got to be something you have a generally passion for. Sit down and give it some thought, brother. Y'all guys are scared to sit down and think like you're gonna like y'all gonna have smoke fumes coming out y'all head if y'all sit down and give some shit some thought. Sit down and give it some thought and put some real thought into it. All right, as into what you want to do. I uh, appreciate. Hey man, one, one more time. Can you shout out my, my channel real quick? I'm trying to beat up my my, my subscribers there. I'm gonna start posting people there. Mm -hmm. 960 vibes films. Gucci 960 vibes films. 960 vibes. All right, did y'all guys get that? Because I ain't even finna try to repeat that shit. All right, bro. Be Mike good. Vibes All right. All right, bro. Be good. All right. Let me get some of these super chats. All right. Zing David deleted my ex Facebook after broke up college days ago. She texted me a day later that I was childish and I shouldn't delete her. What should I do now? All right, so this is what I'm talking about. Now you showed, guys, I made a video called Never Let a Woman See You Butt Hurt. All right, whenever y'all guys go to deleting women numbers and shit like this here, that is the epitome of butt hurt. All right, so now you've killed a lot of attraction to her because you showed that you were butt hurt. So essentially what you did was you let her know that she hurt you. All right, whatever she did, she hurt you. So now if, if I'm you, I let her come to me. All right, because you doing any pursuing now, you and already, you know, show weakness. Deleting, see, when y'all guys got to understand, when y'all go deleting shit and blocking people, that's showing weakness. All right, and it's petty. And so now she, you done lowered her attraction. You're supposed to act like it don't even matter. To you. I gotta delete your number because if I see your picture every day, I'm gonna be hurting. So I gotta delete your Facebook page off my friend list. Cause I don't want to see your updated information. Cause I'm gonna be hurt. That's what you did, Zing David. All right, you said you gonna hurt me if I see your updates. All right, now you don't lower her interest and shit like this. And now, so now you gotta dig yourself out of the hole. So all I would do, David, is I would let her come to me. That's all you can do. In the pursuing, you already killed the attraction a lot. In the pursuing, it's gonna kill it even more. In the guys, get this through you thick motherfuckers' head skull. Any weakness to women lowers attraction. Any weakness. Deleting numbers, pursuing a woman that blows you off, all these type of things, any weakness shows attraction. If a woman is being disrespectful, 
and you don't leave that situation, you're showing weakness, she's going to lose attraction. All right? Any weakness, all right? That's the way it works. Masculine men do not show weakness. All right? If you want your woman feminine, act masculine. If you want your woman to act masculine, act like a little bitch. All right, let's see what we got here. John Johnson, appreciate you, brother, for the super chat. <clears throat> Leo Su, hey, MS, I'm 23 years old, Chinese immigrant, live in Australia, and I can't get girl without spending money. How can I approach a girl in my school without being creepy or awkward? How to use money as my advantage to get girl? All right, so he is the epitome of a beta male provider. So what I'm going to have to ask you to do, brother, is obviously your sex appeal is off. All right? Bottom fucking line, your sex appeal. That's everything about you. That means that the only way you're able to attract women is if you use money as a bargaining chip. All right? That means that your sex appeal, that means that that's your fashion, that's your swagger, your, uh, your body, everything. You, your whole sex appeal needs you know to be upgraded everything all right now the only way you're able to attract women now is financial gain so you're gonna have to look at your sex appeal <clears throat> go over there and check out kevin samuel's channel he he talk he he do this shit the fashion and the uh your body and all this and that type of shit guys that is sex appeal that means that women are not finding you sexually attractive that means that you're using financial gain that's that is the root of it, brother. I'm not going to give y'all guys no, you know, sugarcoat bullshit over here. That's the bottom line. You don't have no sex appeal. All right. A woman don't look at you and say, "Ooh, I want to fuck him. All right. That's what you have around. So hit the gym, work on your fashion, work on your swagger. That's the way you walk. That's the way you sit. That's the way you look up at the fucking stars. That's the way you carry your fucking self. Swagger. All right. That's what that's about. And I'm going to tell y'all guys some of that hips that fucking swagger. Purpose helps your fucking swagger, guys. When you know you headed somewhere and you're doing something you love, man, you get a little pep in your step. Walk, you walk like this a little bit. You walk around campus like this. That's how you walk when you got a purpose in your life, man. Shout out my man, S.E.K. Is that? Oh, shit. A hundred. Man, that man must got paid today. All right. Shout out Elias Two Lucas. Got one of the girl in my three girl rotation, the hottest by far of them bad as fuck. She's pulling back. I think it's her friends telling her shit. How do I tell if this is a shit test or she losing interest? All right, so she's pulling back, brother. <clears throat> when, guys, if a woman is pulling back, understand. All right, so y'all watch this right here. This is you and this is the woman. All right, and right here in the middle where the microphone at, all right, this is love. All right, this is love. This is you. This is the woman. All right, when you come too close to her, she hauls ass. All right, when I say come too close, that means affection, validation, all these type of things to let a woman know that you're falling head over heels in love with her. All right, that you catching feelings. That woman could tell you was catching feelings. All right, and just because you didn't tell her I love you does not mean that she couldn't tell. All right, just because the words didn't come out your mouth don't mean that she couldn't tell. She could tell, all right? So <clears throat> this is where purpose comes in at. You're unavailable, you distant, she wants more time, I'm steady working on my purpose, she chasing you, you're focusing on your purpose, she chasing you, you focusing on your purpose, she chasing you, she staying obsessed with chasing your validation because you are not giving her no time. All right, you are distant, you all over the fucking place. You start catching feelings, you start coming towards love, and now she goes the other way. All right, that's the way it goes, guys, in the real world. The only way it works different is when a woman is looking for a beta male provider. Now, if you're gonna do this shit right here and you're gonna run towards her, the only way she'll come meet you if you're providing, if like say the girl is looking for a beta male provider, or you providing. Okay, now she'll come. So, like, say this girl here, let's say you was taking her shopping and shit like that right there, and you was catching feelings. Oh, then it'll be okay. All right? But if you're not providing no financial support and you do shit like this, she's going to haul ass. All right? So, Elias, the next girl you get, <clears throat> only thing you can do with this chick here is for you to pull back, and hopefully her interest comes back. But it probably won't. But it could, but it probably won't. From, and from my experience, guys, once a woman loses attraction, even when she do hit you up again, she kind of act like she got mixed signals. Like, 
she don't know if she want to make a date or she kind of like it seemed like you could never get that 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 same energy she had back like once it's gone you can never i ain't saying she won't contact you but she'll kind of be all over the damn place you don't like you kind of like man she's sending off mixed signals i don't know what the fuck going on all right she sent it off mixed signals that's mixed signals come from when a woman had a different interest level in you and you did something to drop it and when she come back she kind of like mixed signals that's where it comes from guys so even if she do come back bro you probably gonna get a lot of mixed signals so just take it as a learning experience and now going forward you know to stay focused on your purpose stay focused with your friends do not start catching getting googly eyed and all this other shit because it's gonna turn a woman off she's gonna get repelled unless you doing some fucking you no know, providing and you you throwing them stimulus packages out oh okay then that's okay that's a different story all right you guys got to understand that just because you're not giving a woman your validation as in compliments directly that you're still validating a woman all right if she want to see you more than once a week and you like yeah yeah and next thing you know she pulling back all right keep that that fucking dog chasing that tail that's how you do that guys all right leo sue oh i already answered that one does holding makes you weak like kissing etc or is that validation the only time you do shit like this is when you're trying to um when you in the house and you trying to close the deal all right that's when i do it in it see when you're doing shit like this here watch i'm telling you guys i'm i'll be 39 this year and i can tell you i can look back on my lifetime whenever i show too much affection with a woman i ain't said she left but i seen a drop in attraction all right dropping attraction means that i got him basically i got him all right he, he done gave me his validation i got him she instantly all of a sudden she gets bored all right the women are only interested in chasing that validation all right it's like i'm determined to get this fucking validation from this motherfucker. all right and the second you give it to her she lose interest guys all right let's see what we got here i think i answered that one <clears throat> all right kevin perez ams appreciate you brother how do i test men and women back to get them to put some respect on my name what music do you listen to at the gym for motivation is it uh, right now on that on that music shit, i'm on that playboy carter that playboy carter is on fire that last playboy I, I like the first album too but this new playboy carter on fire is it bad if i listen to simp shit? oh i listen i listen to drake shit, you know what i'm saying but right now that playboy carter is on repeat that shit is on fire. I ain't even listened to Lil Wayne shit yet. That Playboy card is on fire. All right, but going back to it, he said, how do I test men and women back to get them to put some respect on my name? All right, so with women, with women, guys, when you don't, like, so, like, when you're with a woman and you're not validating them, the insecure women are going to start feeling a certain type of way. All right, if, if you're not, if you're with a woman and when she go to be in choir and you quiet, watch how you see some women crack under the pressure you'll see and i'm gonna tell you guys something too when you call if you try to call them type of women right there them insecure type of women that you didn't validate them or you didn't entertain watch a lot of times you won't even get a second date and they could be interested in you but just because you weren't jumping through hula hoops on the date showing crazy high interest see they want dudes that got like crazy high interest so they can mold you know what i'm saying just mold i can mold him all right that's what they like they can find them with the men who got eight nine ten inches already i can mold them i can bend them like i want to a guy who go on a date showing like he love, like he got five or six inches or some shit like this when you run across those insecure women watch you won't even get a second date and you'll be like what i did wrong because you went on the date being a fucking dancing monkey all right so that's how you handle that and as far as men i don't i don't test men all right i just only listen if you hold a masculine frame guys and you carry yourself like a, a man all right you don't have to run around testing men you know that's, that's some shit bullies do that's what bullies do they walk around they got to test everybody so they can find out who they can pick on and shit like that all right, and i ain't teaching no bunch of guys over here to be no fucking bullies all right so the thing with you testing men just hold a masculine frame and the way you carry yourself and won't nobody fuck with you or bother you or test you all right you if we got an old phrase we say back home nobody how to know how to come at you when we say nobody know how to come at you that's because you kind of like quiet off to yourself and you don't fuck with nobody and don't nobody know how to take you all right and that's all you got to be guys and want nobody fuck. you could be five foot five 140 pounds 
But when you carry yourself like a man and you ain't all that playing and jiving and friendly shit and shit, won't nobody fuck with you. All right. You open yourself up for guys to start testing you when you walk around and you act like a fucking cornball. All right, guys. Justin Carter, I found your channel a day after complimenting this new girl. And now I know I messed up because I complimented her. How do I ask her to move is two weeks from now? All right. So first of all, don't do no fucking movie. All right. Never do no fucking movie. That's the worst date you can do. You don't want to do a movie. Uh, drink. If you're too young to drink, then slice a piece of ice cream or something like that right there. But it, just because you compliment her, you guys got to understand that if a woman sees you as a nine and you complimented her, she might lost attraction, but you ain't going to go right out the door. Uh, it's a slow, steady process. Go from a nine to an eight to a seven to a six. So if she had high enough attraction in you, you still good. If you did some shit like that and she saw you as a five, yeah, your ass out of there. All right. You ain't got no room. You can't make no mistakes when a woman sees you as a five. All right. But if she saw you as an eight or a nine, you'll see a drop in attraction. All right. And it's, and it's obvious, guys. All right. Before she would clear schedule, you'll ask her, hey, when you free? I'm free Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then you see a drop in attraction. Then she got, oh, I got, can I get back with you? I got to check my friend. We got a birthday party going. Bitch, y'all have a birthday party every fucking day. Like, how the fuck? That's, that's when a woman do that, guys, that's when you know her attraction has dropped. All right. So with this right here, you still should be good as long as she ain't have too crazy high, low, low interest in you. Just going forward, don't do no bullshit like that no more. All right. Don't compliment her no more. All right. And two weeks from now, if I wouldn't wait that long. You know, I wouldn't wait that long. I wait a week, brother. I'll wait a week and ask her out for drinks or something like that. If you're too young to drink ice cream or a piece of hot dog, all uh, right, you know, feed the bitch, you know. All right, let's see what we got here. The Aqua Jews. Do I wish a girl happy birthday and she put me in the friend zone? What do I do when she disappears for days but then gets bothered when I do it? All right, a girl put me in the friend zone. I wouldn't even fucking contact her, period. All right, I wouldn't give a fuck if she got her head hit. By a fucking jackhammer. All right. I ain't cut a girl put me in the friend zone. And, and listen, guys, the friend zone is something you put yourself in. All right. Do y'all guys get that? See, for you, you're in the friend zone. To me, she would have been an attention whore. Because if you're in the friend zone, that means you agreed to go into the friend zone. A woman can't put you in the friend zone. You have to agree and go to the friend zone. All right. So, you know, a lot of you guys don't know the difference between the friend zone and shit like this. The difference between being in a friend zone and an attention whore is what you agree to do. All right. If a woman tries to put me in the friend zone, I'm going to call her attention whore because I'm not going into the friend zone. So you can want me to go in the friend zone, but I'm not fucking going into the friend zone. I'm booking. You said, OK, good. I'll go do my sentence. And that's what you sent us to, a lifetime of nothing, a lifetime of seeing the ass you can't get. That's what the friend zone is, all right? You just get to stand outside and see all the other guys fucking them, and you can't do nothing. That's what the friend zone is, all right? So never agree to go in the friend zone. You fucking walk away, and she just become an attention whore. And but what I mean by attention whore is she'll reach out periodically, don't want nothing, won't set no fucking date, just reach out. Say, hey, and all this other bullshit, how you doing? And as soon as you say, hey, I'm doing good. How about we go out for drinks Saturday night? Oh, uh, can I get back with you? All right, that's an attention whore. All right, she, what she wants you to do is she wants you to go in the friend zone, but you won't go. All right, so don't agree to be nobody's friend, guys. All right, and don't hit that bitch up. She thought what she thought of you. d Mac. what to do if a girl asks if you can get her something for Christmas or her birthday or gifts or holidays. I say, bitch, go fuck yourself. Is this a girl that you fucking with? Because that matters. All right, D-Mac, is that a girl you fucking with? Because if it's a girl, if it's a girl you fucking with, yeah, just keep it cheap. All right, that's the thing. If it's a girl you fucking with, keep it cheap. You know, 30 bucks. 30 bucks, you can get something good. Get a bit some curling irons or something. All right. But if it's not a girl you're not fucking with or she ain't in your rotation, fuck that bitch. All right, let's see what we got here. I can't even keep up with this shit. All right, let's see. Leo Sue, 
AMS, I've been hitting the gym hard for years and I always dressing nice, but I have a baby face that girls can't take me serious. How do I turn my passion into my purpose when my passion is girls? Oh, man, sound like we got a porn star in the making, Leo Sue. All right, so how about this, Leo Sue? If girls is your passion, how about being a photographer or something like that? You ever thought about that? If if you that obsessed with girls, I'm just I'm just throwing some shit out there. I ain't gave it much thought. This is why I tell you guys, you guys got to sit down and get this shit some thought, all right? But if you... If you obsessed with girls like that, how about you, you know, maybe you do a, become a photographer, a, a photo shoot or something like that. I don't know. I'm just thinking off the top of my head on live on camera. But you sit down and you think of some shit. Y'all guys got to sit down and think of some shit like, OK, I, my passion is girls. OK, how can I make money doing this? All right. Think of some shit. I don't know. I'm doing this shit off the top of my dome and I already came up with photography. Maybe you can look into that. I don't know. Sit down and think about it. All right. Dada beats. Hey, AMS, I was wondering what to do if your family still doesn't respect you as an adult. I'm 20 and I'm on my purpose, but my parents don't give me the respect I think I deserve as a man. Guys, it don't matter if it's your parents. It don't matter if it's your grandparents. Nobody's going to give you shit until you earn it. All right. So probably they looking at what you're doing with your life or whatever the case may be. But I'm going to tell y'all guys something, man. It don't matter with who or what you do. Everybody watches the way you carry yourself and they treat you accordingly. Do y'all guys grasp what I'm saying? People treat you guys how you're acting. All right. If you carry yourself like a man, a masculine man, and stop all that bullshit and playing around, people are going to treat you as such. If you sit around acting like a 20 year old kid, teenager, and shit like this right here, then that's how people are going to treat you. If you want people to treat you like a man, you have to act like a fucking man. You have to carry yourself like a fucking man. All right. That means everything, guy. That means that's the way you walk, the way you talk, eye contact, firm handshakes, all that bullshit. All right. Stand up for yourself. If you feel like you tested, stand up for your fucking self and speak your fucking mind or whatever the case may be. Don't push it to physical unless you're defending yourself. But as a man, you have to stand up for yourself at all times, no matter what, guys. All right. Y'all guys just want respect just for respect. Just walk out the door and everybody respect me for no fucking reason. Just give me my respect. It don't fucking work that way, guys. People treat you how you carry yourself, all right? That's the way that fucking works, guys. So even with your parents, if y'all guys got y'all parents and they treat y'all or they y'all feel like they handle y'all wrong, that's the way y'all carrying yourself. Because even with them, they'll give you respect. Now, if you're 12 years old, and fuck no. But a 20-year-old grown-ass man, yes, by the time I was 20 and shit, my mom and, 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 and my aunties and shit, they talked to me with respect, all right? Do y'all guys get that? Carry yourself like a fucking man. No mama's boys, no borrowing money from parents. How, if you come and get money from them and shit, how can they respect you? I wouldn't respect you. If you want to be, you know, treated like a man, you have to act like a fucking man. If you're going to act like a boy and you want mama to do your laundry and all this other bullshit, well, she going to treat you like a boy. All right, Zaldi. My ex flakes on me and keeps making excuses when we make a date. She didn't do it in the beginning. She was chasing me. We work together. I get a fucked up feeling. How do I shake that feeling away? All right, so here we go again. X is pulling away. She used to warp to the ground he walk on, and now all of a sudden, she's pulling away. All right, so this is the thing. And he said, we work together. All right, so here's the thing, brother. You got to get back, focus on what you're doing. Guys, anytime you see this situation right here guys you know guys keep asking me this question like it's different for their situation like my situation is a little different whenever a woman pulls away you always got to wait for she her to come back you know you can't go chasing after her you have to always let her come back and if going forward when this situation happened everything moves at her pace you ain't doing shit all right everything goes at her pace you ain't doing shit you chilling if she wants you come get me all right. So when a woman pull back and shit like this right here, I'm not doing no pursuing. I'm not asking when we going to see each other. None of that bullshit. All right. You pull back. You know, I showed you some affection. You got the big head and you pull back. OK, you do everything. I'm not initiating shit. I'm not asking you out. None of that bullshit. You ask me when are we going to see each other? I'm not doing shit. Not for the foreseeable future. Whenever a woman do that, always let her do everything when she come back. All right. So my man right here, Zada, whatever name is, 
let her initiate and do everything. Don't even bring up about hanging out or none of that bullshit. Let her do it. All right. Now let her wonder what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, bitch. I got options too. Yeah. I got daddy got options too. So you thought you the only one had some. Daddy got some options too. All right. So now you chase daddy. You don't ask her out, period. Let her ask you out. If I even think you ask her out, we're going to have a problem. My man, Alpha Factory, new girl for seven years, had sex and tried a long distance. But when I went home, she wouldn't let me have sex. So I let her go and ignore her now for months. She still hits me up, though. What will you do? But when I went home, she wouldn't let me have sex. So I let her go yeah, for months. Now she still hits me up. What would I do? All right. So here's the thing, guys. What happened is, what did I just say a couple of messages back? When a woman drops interest and she comes back it's gonna be this mixed signal shit that's that always what happens when if you fuck up with a woman and you lose and she lose interest when she do come back a lot of the time she'll enter this mixed signals bullshit to where she can you can never get her back to where it was where you wanted to be all right so in this situation guys and this is gonna be a lot of you guys situation when women lose interest because as much as I sit up here and tell you guys not to validate women, not to be looking at them all googly eyes, y'all are going to do it, and women are going to continue to lose interest. In this situation right here, you simply, when she reach out, you keep it short and get off the phone. Don't say nothing about when we're going to see each other or none of that bullshit. Always let the woman do all the pursuing after she's lost interest. Always. Everything. Don't even bring up, well, hey, can we hang out Saturday? None of that bullshit, all right? She has to do every fucking thing. And this ain't, you know, some strategy that I'm trying to get y'all to. This is a simpler strategy. Of she got to get her interest back up to respect you. All right. She done lost some interest and respect for you. All right. So what you got to relate to her that you have other shit going on, that you have other women going on. So if she wants you, she got to come pursue you, brother. All right. You did what you supposed to been did. She backed up. Now she got to come towards you. You ain't coming towards her no fucking more, all right? And this is going to happen a lot. This is this is the number one question that I get emails every day What guys be wondering. Girls losing interest, what to do? You got to let the woman do every fucking thing, everything. You don't even bring up. If she reach out, hey, you want to get a drink? This, I'm telling you right now, if you do do that, I guarantee you 99.9% .9 of the time, she's going to give you some mixed signal interest. Uh, response. I guarantee fucking to you. All right. Keep it short and get the fuck off the fucking phone, guys. Don't let what she's trying to do. Either she's going to become an attention whore or she's going to put you in her friend zone. That's what's that's what she's trying to do. All right. She's trying to either get free attention or she's trying to put you in her friend zone. It's up to you to go. Jonathan Alexander, general manager at my job, wants to hook up. She is 40 plus. I would smash. How do you manage hooking up with a superior super, superior at work? Also, 15 cores, all women for female assistant managers. All right. So I don't advocate this fucking with a woman like this. But if you're going to do it, as with anything, bro, as with anything, if she's attracted to you, she's attracted to you. If she's not, she's not. Now, the good news is she is 40. And so by her being 40, I don't know how old are you. I'm going to take it that you probably, let's say you 25 or something like that right there. All right. So at this point, she could be, you know, a cool girl or something like that. Because if she was a 30-year-old supervisor or something, she would be looking, you know, hypergamy. She would be looking for somebody bigger than her. But when you start dealing with these older women, they start wanting hot little studs and shit like that right there. So you might have a chance. I wouldn't say you would probably even have a chance if she was 28. But by her being 40, all right, because it, it's it's not right in a woman's head for a 28 supervisor to go and talk to a guy up on her. She wants the fucking guy who owns the company, all right? But by this woman being 40, you might stand a chance. But it just boils down, guys. There's no strategy to get these women like this. Either she's attracted to you or she's not. Are you making a confident approach or are you not, all right? Now, with a woman like this, 
if it goes bad, that's what now you're talking about your job and this woman's your super, supervisor and all this other type of shit. That's why I worry about. That's 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 why I get scared about. That's why I wouldn't fuck with her. But if you're gonna do it, it ain't no scratch, brother. Either she like what she see or she don't. Either you make a confident approach or you don't. Either you go on a date and you pass a shit test or you don't. It it, it doesn't matter. All right. All right, Gunner Ralph, how do I motivate myself to stay in the gym and find ground on my purpose? Thanks, Pimpy. All right, this is how you stay motivated. Just know you won't get no ass. Y'all guys don't get motivated by looking at some ass. Shit, man, I went to the club last night. I saw a girl, shit, I started wanting to work out right there in the middle of the goddamn club. Like, I, I, well, I'm trying to figure out how y'all guys are ha having a hard time staying motivated. Man, I, I seen a girl so fine last night in the club, I started to want to do some push-ups right there in the goddamn club. Shit, man. Y'all guys can't get mo stay motivated? Y'all, you know what, man? I swear for God, man. I'm wondering by some of you guys, man. I'm Y'all got me worried, man. Y'all got me worried. I'm telling you right now, man. How do I stay motivated to stay in the gym with all this ass walking around? Shit, man, every time I see a fine bitch, I goddamn want to start doing some push-ups right then. All right. Yo. Yeah, huh? What's up, bro? Yeah. Um, one thing I'm, I'm going through right now is I mean a lot more women who are showing me a lot more interest. And that's because I've been trying to, like, improve myself. But one problem I have is, you know, It'll be like a girl that I talked to in the past, but like we had like a little bit of rapport before, but now when I see it, she like talks to me or she like try to avoid me. I don't understand what I could be doing wrong and make them do, make girls do stuff like that. I don't, I ain't heard, I ain't understand that you said. I don't know if it's me or what's going on, but I ain't really understanding you guys clear today. Say that one more time, brother. Yeah. Um, there's a, there's a few instances of, of women that I've, I've met that, you know, at one point we were kind of cool and we had some before. And now when I see them around, like I see them around campus, they act like, you know, they don't know me or they'll try to avoid me. And so I'm trying to, you know, what I see going wrong to cause that. All right. So this sounds like a typical creepy vibe. All right. And so what did I tell you guys about women and creepy and shit like this? This goes to attraction level, brother. All right. So, and also, you know, like another thing that comes off is creepy guys. Let, let me, so let me clear this up too. Another thing that comes off creepy guys, if you do a lot of staring, but you don't approach, like you a stare, but you never say anything or make a fucking approach. That's creepy. All right. If you're going to stare and do shit like this, make a fucking approach. So what I'm under, what I'm getting from you is they probably getting a fucking creepy vibe from you, brother. So another thing that'll make you look creepy like that. Do you have friends on campus? Are you a loner on campus and shit like this? Just walk around staring at women asses all day. I do have friends, but you know, I don't have friends on campus. I do. I spend a lot of time with myself too. And I'm, I'm busy working on my own project. So mm -hmm. I'll be alone. And so I got to go from point A to point B. Okay, so I can understand how that can come across a certain way. Right, so they probably get a creepy vibe from you because you probably a loner and shit like this right here. Probably weird, uh, and also probably where you carry yourself. They probably get a creepy vibe from you or whatever the case may be. Another thing too, man, girls are ask around about you, and so they'll go ask another girl, and oh, girl, he creepy. He asked me out this, that, and other. So you'll get that also, brother. But what I tell you, man, don't don't really worry about women. All right, they just crazy. Now, don't don't you live your life, brother, and 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 just focus more on your purpose and shit, and probably don't even worry about women right now. Where you in college? Yeah. All right. Another thing that'll help you, bro, when you see women that you're attracted to, man, instead of staring and shit like this, just make a manly approach because they're gonna start. You know that that would make some women think you're creepy or weird or something like that. You do a lot of staring, but you ain't doing a whole lot of approaching and shit like that, right there. That's like you're creepy or something like that. But a lot of it gonna be what their interest level is, so you just can't get around it. I wouldn't worry about it, bro. All right, yeah, all right, bro. Don't worry about it, guys. Listen here, if y'all guys in school or something like this, and people 
uh, y'all go around women or something like this, and then they act like they don't know you or whatever the case may be. Y'all guys got to look at it twofold. She could have manipulated you. She could have put you in the friend zone. She could have been a attention whore. She just put you on out your misery, all right? So she don't want to fuck with you, all right? Who gives a flying fuck? Muhammad, can you talk about how to check women the right way? You talk about it on page, but I was hoping you could talk more about it. Thanks. All right, so the way you check women, guys, is in a in like a sarcastic, authoritative fashion. So like when a woman show up late or something like that, right there, you know, I don't go into no, bitch, you showing up late? I got things that, no, I don't do that, guys. I always do something like, God damn, I got to get this watch fixed. Cause I could have swore I told her meet up at 8 o'clock. God damn it. I do something like that right there. Or if like she on her phone or something like that right there, I'll say something like, damn, something breaking in the news? What's going on? You know, I just some sarcastic, just let a woman know, put the phone up. All right, you don't got to be a fucking asshole. You just say some sarcastic. Like, what's going on in the news? What's going? On? You keep checking your phone. What's going on? All right, just do something like that, guys. You ain't got to be a fucking asshole to get your point across to make a woman respect you or whatever the case may be. I always do some sarcastic like that. Militant J, can you make a detailed video on dealing with the women that goes ghost flakes on you, then decides to come back? All right, I'll do that. I'm, I got that actually. I put it on. I put it on YouTube next week. I actually already got that video. All right. Make sure y'all guys join my Patreon. I already got that video on Patreon. All right. I'll put it on YouTube next week. All right. <clears throat> and make sure y'all check out the critically acclaimed on Amazon. Got to promote my book. Still number one in my category. Alpha male strategy. The critically acclaimed. Whatever the fuck that means. I don't even know what the fucking critically acclaimed means. Grand trait. AMS. I hit a girl first day. I don't. <clears throat> got my own apartment yet and she do but she act iffy about me coming over how do i let her know the clock's ticking so you fucked on the first day and now she acting iffy all right so you ain't lay that pipe right brother that's what that sounds like it don't sound like you seduced her all the way right all right so guys if y'all want these girls to come stay in y'all rotation and shit like this right here make sure y'all land that pipe right all right my man grand trey right here he did not lay the pipe right he didn't seduce her. He didn't do something. She's supposed to be blowing his phone up to see him again. All right. So make sure if y'all care. I don't really give a fuck if the bitch go on about business. But if you care, make sure you hitting it right. Jordan Fuller, 24 from London in shape, masculine, seen as the alpha. I get choosing signals, but I fail to approach out of fear of fucking up. Thoughts? Yeah, man, you need to get some balls, brother. All right, I already made that approach anxiety video. All right, go on my channel and look at that approach anxiety video. All right, I can't give you guys no fucking balls, man. That's that's my thought. You know, thoughts? Yeah, I got some thoughts. Grow some fucking balls. All right. <clears throat> all right, I got t-shirts for sale. I got a book for sale. All right, I do online coaching for sale. I don't got no balls for sales, guys. Sorry. OG Young, I'm married with great wife kids also on my purpose now women choosing i'm trying to stay true to my family but it's tough what would you do in my situation yeah now i have a fucking family all right this is the epitome of what i'm fucking talking about guys this is the guy that's not ready to settle down he settled down he got a scarcity mindset it's not what he really want and now i get questions like this with capital letters like it's dial knees and shit like this right here because now he's in a he want he got a family but it, it, he have an issue turning down pussy all right this is what i'm talking about you, this is why you don't get in relationships because you ain't ready for it all right if you wanted to be with a woman and only that woman then do it but if you not don't do it or at the very least get an open relationship but now you married with great you ain't think before when you walking down the aisle when you was walking down the aisle you ain't look and see all that ass i'm like god damn man i'm giving all this shit up you saw that ass but no, you wanted your security at home, so now you got to deal with it, all right? That's my situation. That, that's my thoughts on your situation, bro, all right? It's tough now. Too bad, all right? Deal with your life. You, guys, y'all got to make decisions in life, and if y'all make the wrong decision in life, this is what you end up with, all right? If you guys know that y'all like to sleep around, and then you go get with a girl, and you marry her, and start a family and all this other shit, now you're going to be having this dilemma because he obviously wants to fuck other women. So 
good luck to you oj young og young all right this is you're gonna be going through that shit for the next 40 50 years or she put you on child support and take all your shit. either way deal with it exposing the emperor question if you met a unicorn both like each other and you blew it by asking upfront about sex out the first date should you contact her again yeah i will contact her again i will give it another shot exposing the emperor all right guys if you ever think you fucked up with a woman or something like that right there always reach back out even if you think the date went bad always reach back out and let her tell you no don't assume no all right let her tell you no don't assume shit alpha melatrain married co-worker touches me on the shoulder occasionally never says no to me drive me everywhere never validate her how do you get her to let me fuck her to sleep do you validate women or the... i fuck any goddamn body that's his problem all right they shouldn't have gotten married but uh the thing is this is <clears throat> married women are the easiest to fuck because she don't expect you to take her out all right she don't expect you to take her out i wouldn't pursue no married woman but hey if the bitch throwing pussy my way hey i'm not gonna run the other way all right because that's the other dude problem shouldn't have got married no way all right he should know about hypergamy if he didn't know he, he gonna learn it now all right when his dick printing her ass all right so the situation like this here brother this is the easiest you don't gotta date her or none of that bullshit. this is some shit here and the reason you don't gotta date her because she ain't gonna want to be seen or get caught with your ass all right so you simply gonna ask her out back to your place or something hey come over for a glass of wine or some shit like that i know you married or whatever the case may be that's how you handle that alpha melatrain just ask her to come over for a glass of wine she married she don't want to be caught all right so that's the married women are the, women in relationships are the easiest women to fuck generally period because they don't want to be caught mj get right ms og this goes to the beta simps y'all need to realize that if you seduce these women doing their approach you don't even need to date them you can take that pussy home for the night check me out alpha, alpha mentality check out alpha mentality i think that's the channel i don't know appreciate that mj get right <clears throat> appreciate that mj get right who this uh, think i'm all caught up now uh bonus script what's your thoughts on asian women have you bagged them they seem to gravitate towards white boys no nah, i ain't never bagged the uh asian one i'm pretty much guys only uh attracted to uh black women thick black women all right amazon type black women I, I don't even like petite black women i like uh thick black women all right i have been with a hispanic girl or whatever the case may be one all the other girls in my life been thick black women i don't even like uh i don't even like skinny uh black women just thick woof, woof, thick women all right let's get another phone call right quick yo hello what's up bro hey bro what's up what's up so i got yeah i got some people in my um in my class that i'm trying to holla at but mm -hmm. i see them like twice a week and i'm not trying to really give it all that attention okay i seen <clears throat> i seen on a saturday well like on a, on a sunday or a friday night mm -hmm. so i'm trying to figure out what i should what i should be doing with that all right so you saw on friday or saturday night yeah all right so you're gonna go out with a friday or saturday night is that what you're trying to say yeah and I, but i see her twice during um school Ah, oh, so you see her during the week or whatever so the thing is man just don't smother at school and shit like this don't be like every time you see her you feel like you got to go up and say something to her and shit like that right there all right don't blame out ignore her and shit like that right there that ain't cool either but don't seek her out either because then she <laughs> like you can smother her all right so i actually done dated a woman that I, that was at the gym that worked at the gym and i can see and tell you don't smother don't stay in her fucking face all the time all right so like if y'all make eye contact or something y'all see each other then fine but don't seek her out is she over there uh, and you walking this way don't try to go over there and see be you know be all in her space all the fucking time get a girl fucking space all right that's all you got to do just give get a girl fucking space don't be in her fucking face all the time all right, all right bro all right guys so any of you guys work with a woman or something like this or a school or whatever the case may be and y'all want to know how to interact with them because y'all gonna see them 
just get a woman space. Don't be in a fucking face all the goddamn time, smothering them. All right, you're gonna lose attraction. You're gonna she gonna lose attraction real quick. And it's harder to maintain attraction, guys, when it's somebody you see because you you lose that element of you know missing you and all that because they're gonna see you more and shit like that. Just don't be in a fucking face. Be focused on what you're doing. All right. I ain't telling you to avoid her either now. If you see her, then turn your head real quick, acting like you ain't seeing all that shit. Don't do that. But don't be all in the girl grill all the fucking time either. It's a balance, guys. When I'm training for a fight, I won't bust my nut for a month or two. How do I keep boosting my testosterone? Food, weight, supplements. Uh, food, weight, supplements. And uh, I'm going to take it as in, so I'm going to take this as you young, brother. I'm going I'm to take this as you young. The best way to keep boosting your testosterone, and take it, guys, it's only so high your testosterone could go with your genetics, right, is to lift weights, eat the proper amount of food and shit like this. Make sure you're getting healthy fats, guys. The proper healthy fats. All right, a lot of you guys who do this weight shit, you cut the fats out too fucking low, and that causes your testosterone to drop. Make sure you keep enough of the proper fats in there. Y'all guys need to know that you need a certain amount of even cholesterol. All right, a lot of you guys don't know that, but a lot of you guys, cholesterol is a precursor for testosterone. All right, so make sure that you keep a certain level amount of saturated fats. I ain't say go out there and get a whole bucket of Popeye's chicken. Cause I know it's always gonna be an asshole who take what I say and take it the wrong way. But you guys need to know you need a certain amount of cholesterol and a certain amount of saturated fat to keep your testosterone levels at the right level, guys. And all that's gonna be based off of what your body weight is and genetics and all that. All right, mesomorph, endomorph, and all that shit. All right. So that's how you keep your testosterone levels right, brother. Watch your fats, saturated fats, and cholesterol. Don't you guys get into this healthy shit. And they cut all their cholesterol out and they cut all the saturated fats out. And you need that to build testosterone, to keep your testosterone levels high, guys. <clears throat> Alpha Melatrain. She's 23 and I'm 19. I don't drink wine, bro. She sends the signals, you know, when a bitch want to put it down. I just don't know how to go about it. All right. Did you ask her back to your crib? Make sure you ask her back to your crib, brother. That's how you put it down. Ask her back to your crib and make your fucking move. All right? That's how you put it down. You're going to put it down in the fucking restaurant. You're going to put it down at the wine bar. All right? You put it back down at your crib. That way you can seduce her. All right. Let me get another phone call. Yo. Yo, hey, man. What's up, bro? Yo, okay, so you got a 50 year old guy, almost 50 year old mm -hmm. guy. Mm -hmm. I got the big, I got the big debate. I can listen to what you say and intellectualize it, mm -hmm. but implementing it and getting it to, there's a disconnect. Mm -hmm. So, like, I'll go out and I, I just, it's an asking thing. You probably hear me all I'm talking. I'm nervous, I'm nervous, but uh, it ends up, all my dates end up being girls' night out. I'm not boring. <laughs> all your dates be girls' night out. That's how it's turning, man. It's like I'll go, I can attract them. I got all that down. Mm -hmm. And as the night goes on, my, my mouth just motors. Mm -hmm. I don't even, it's like default. All right. Uh, and so afterwards, I realized I've done it. Yeah. I just blew it. I blew more pussy than I even, I, I think you'll never imagine. All right. So here's the thing. Guys, y'all guys hear his voice? Y'all guys hear his voice? And, and And that's what I'm talking about when I say, his voice sounds, this is what I'm talking about when I say your voice pitch and all this. His voice sounds beta as fuck. Now, that's not a shot to you, brother, but that's because, no, you're, it's true. that's because you're not relaxed and you're not chilled and you over anxious and you excited. You got to calm that shit down, bro, and you got to talk with some bass in your fucking voice. All right, you're not talking with an authority. The way your voice sounds, it sounds, it's, it sounds like beta male provider. It's spelled out beta male provider. All right. So if you want women to see you as a sexual object, you have to present yourself as a sexual object. Don't nothing about your voice just then say anything about seducing a female. All right. So you need to work. You need to you need to work on it. And that just you just sound excited. Like you just blah, 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 blah. you sound excited. Like I need to hurry up and get these words out. 
All right. So you need to calm that down, bro, and work on your voice pitch. And I'm only going to imagine your body language and all that shit when you're around these females, too. It's probably off. You probably got a real beta male body language. You need to calm that down, bro. And, and you're right. what's going to happen right. is when you have that, that kind of voice pitch, and I can imagine your talk game. I can just imagine, guys. I, you know, I've been doing this shit. I, <laughs> Listen, I can imagine your talk game. I guarantee you it's, it's, it's very friendly feel. None of that shit. I, your talk game, I guarantee, is not seductive. All right? <clears throat> so you need to breathe more from your diaphragm, brother. You need to talk like a fucking man. And you need to slow that shit down. So if you're talking to me and you sound like that, I can only imagine how you sound when you're talking to these women. You probably sound like a real female. All right? That's where your issue's coming in at. I, yeah. All right, bro. So you need to work on that, man. Just calm, just calm down. You get too excited, just calm down. Slow down your speech. Read, talk more from your diaphragm, man. You just like a high pitch, sound like a woman type. <clears throat> and you was and and you gonna get, that that feminine energy, that feminine energy, that feminine voice is just gonna naturally put women into their masculine. And then that's how you. Now we all off. Everything's all off. Your feminine energy is putting her into a masculine. Now it's, a, now it's all fucked up. All right. If you want this woman to be feminine and something to be seduced, you have to have a manly approach, a manly feel about yourself. Yep. I agree. I agree 100%. So it's just practice. Just practice and something you, you got to think on it. Just think. You just, when you go up to slow it down, just relax. Slow it down and talk like a man. Slow down. Slow down your speech. Just calm down. All right. All right, bro. <clears throat> Guys, y'all heard the way he talked, right? All right, you never going to get no ass sounding like that. <clears throat> in the future, are there any plans on doing seminars like other dating coaches in New York? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's coming, bro. Sometime next year, I'll be on that shit. Yo, AMS, I fucked up. I told her I love her. <laughs> She gone cold. I wasn't needing much later. I reached, we argued, and she blocked me. Any chance to get her back? Yeah, if she reached out to you, bro, ain't nothing you can do. All right? Ain't nothing you can do. And when this shit happened, guys, the only thing you can do is wait for her to reach back out to you. That's it. Ain't nothing. She done blocked you. What you going to do? Go show up at a job? Now your ass going to jail. All right? So you see this little line you got on this damn you know, emoji right here? They're going to lock your ass up in that line, too. All right? So you got to calm the fuck down and let her come back to you, bro. Alan Dyer. Should I even focus on bitches at 16 or just focus on myself and getting better? No, bro. You can date. Just women got to be a small portion of what you're doing. All right? If you want to go full-blown purpose, then go full-blown purpose. But you can date, brother. You can date. What I suggest, work on your purpose Monday through Friday or self-improvement whatever the case may be and deal with women on the weekend and the reason why i say that is because okay you're gonna be the went to the gym you're gonna be the one that did all this shit and proved all this shit and then when you do get the women you ain't got no charisma no sex or energy all this shit takes practice in years brother all right do y'all guys grasp that it takes you years to build up that sexual energy like that to where when you with a woman you know what to do and how to vibe all right, so if you go and go full monk for three, four years, when you do interact with a woman, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. All right, you're going to be nervous and shit, knocking shit over and shit. So the only way you're going to get better is you have to deal with women. I just don't want them to be all you guys think about, which is what a lot of you guys do. Women are all you think about, which is why you can't succeed. Got a stripper number last night after a couple of hours at the club. How you tag them to sleep when she lives off of male attention? How do you stand out? All right, so now we're getting scrippers numbers at the club. Is that what we're doing? All right, we're getting scripper. All right, so I done got scripper numbers before in the past, and you know what they always did? They always conveniently called whenever they ass was doing another show to tell me where they ass was at so I can come throw some more tips on their ass. All right, maybe it's different from you, but that's what I've got. I've gotten two scripper numbers in my 20s. And only time I heard from them was when they had a fucking show going on so I can come throw some more dollar bills on their goddamn ass. They didn't say that, but that's how I took it, all right? So understand that when y'all guys go out here and get scripted numbers and shit, 
a lot of those girls are lesbians and all they see me in as is tipples and tricks all right and most times i'm 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 guarantee you when you reach out to this girl she probably gonna tell you where her next show is so your ass can come in there and tip her again and that's probably the only reason she gave you her number else she mr miss lost her mom since then interest energy low how do i get back interest and control but other women interested in me still very high want to be loyal <clears throat> Oh, so your girl lost her mom since then interest energy low. All right, so bro, in a situation like that, your girl going through something, you gotta just ride through that storm. All right. If your wife or your girlfriend or something like that lost them, of course her energy gonna be low. You're gonna have to go to ride through that storm. That's it, it, listen, y'all guys gonna be in relationships and shit like that. If you can't ride with nobody through no bullshit like that, what the fuck are you doing? All right, you gotta listen. You want the girl to be sucking and fucking you right now? Mama just passed. God damn. You motherfuckers, some selfish ass motherfuckers, man. God damn. Girl, that mama ain't even cold in the ground yet. He want a blowjob. But calm your hot ass down, man. Let the girl mourn a fucking mama, man. God damn. Y'all dudes are cutthroat. God damn. Girl, mama ain't even goddamn toasty in the fucking ground. And he bitching because he can't get his fucking dick sucked oh man oh man sometimes you know i just question what the fuck am i doing god damn Woo! man oh man oh man girl gone cold mom dead ah mm. it's rough out it's rough out here man yo what's up what's Let's get somebody else on here. This mother. Hello? Yo, what's up, bro? Hello. What's up, bro? Hello. What's up, bro? Hello. Yeah, I'm here, bro. I made it through. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, I just had two questions. Uh, so I met this guy. Uh, college. Uh, the day. Uh, she wasn't like choosing nothing like that. But I still went up to her and I approached her and she mm -hmm. gave me a number. Mm -hmm. Then I took her out on a date. Mm -hmm. But like, so say I, I was gonna meet her at um. Got to meet her at some music place or whatever to hang out. But mm -hmm. instead, I just took her straight home. And um, and that like after that like, like I just tried to stay calm so I could escalate it from there. Mm -hmm. But um, like she had to go uh, cause her mom was uh had to come get her or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I had to take her back to campus. Mm -hmm. So uh, after that like, um, like I haven't reached out to her. So did I like did I lower her inches or like I don't know? No, it don't sound like you lower inches, bro. You know, uh, I, it. Did you did, go ahead? Oh, one more question. Mm -hmm. Is it would it be better to um, take a girl on an insta date? Say that you met a girl at the mall mm -hmm. and um like she says like she she's willing to walk with you. Is it better to like take her on an instant date while mm -hmm. you're like at the mall or something like that just to, you know, get build a better connection or you mean or, inst insta needy? Because that's what I called it. Y'all call it insta date. I call it insta needy. All right. I ain't got shit else better to do. I'm just out here in the mall, just fucking around. And yeah, all right, let's just walk and hold hands, even though we just met two fucking minutes ago. All right. I call that insta needy. All right. You see, this is the thing. And y'all guys wonder why women lose attraction. Y'all women just feed y'all these baits and shit. Like, yeah, hey, you want to hang out tonight? And then you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm free tonight. And then, oh, no, nah, I forgot I got a birthday party tonight. And then y'all wonder why the girls lose interest. They feed y'all this shit and y'all fall hook, line, and sinker for it. You want to see me tonight? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to see you tonight. Oh, shit. I forgot. Oh, man. I got my girls. We're going to get some drinks. Fuck. All right. Now she just know you some needy fuck. You fail for the hokey dope. All right. A lot of you guys, that's where y'all guys are fucking up. Women feed y'all these bullshit. Y'all go on a date on Saturday, and I get the shit, guys, so I know what the fuck you're doing. You go on a date on Saturday, and then a the girl on the date on Saturday be like, what you doing tomorrow? I'm free tomorrow. You want to see me? Nah, I can't see tomorrow. I'm going out of town tomorrow. And you're like, oh, shit. Now nah, you done fucked up. All right? Y'all guys stop falling for those traps. Those are the insta-needy traps. Well, a woman act like she's available just to see if your ass going to act like you're available. And then soon as she found out you available, and then she pulled a rug from right up under your ass. All right. So in a situation like that where a woman is acting needy, and you'll see it sometimes. I had a woman 
right hand to God, guys. Girl called me yesterday. I gave him my number three days ago. Hit me up and was like, hey, you free tomorrow. All right, she hit me up yesterday, and I was like, hey, we just we texting back and forth and shit like that. And I said, when are you free to get a drink? And the bitch said, well, I'm actually free tomorrow. Good bitch, because I'm not free tomorrow. If your ass, yeah, I'm free. Yeah, I'm free. You want to go? I'm ready. You want to go? And then you wonder why the woman lose interest. How the fuck? Listen, she hit you up on Saturday. You ain't got nothing going on planned for tomorrow. You you completely free. I hit you up Saturday and you free Sunday. Oh, no. No, no. I'm talking well, about. I mean, like, no, I'm no, 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 I mean, like, no, 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 just at one time, but like, I I, I had to mute him. All right, I I had to mute him because I ain't listening. He ain't listening. I'm talking. When I talk, shut the fuck up. All right. So, guys, I'm talking about I'm talking about my situation. My situation is, I was telling the girl, she was trying to get me out on the date tomorrow, today, which would have been today, and I told her no, I wasn't available. All right. Now, could I have squeezed in an hour or something like that? Yes. And I know this ain't what you asked me, but I'm just letting you know this is what women do. They ask you, are you available now? And this, that, other. And you think like, yes, let me jump on it. And then you wonder why they lose interest. Don't fall for the okie doke. Even if they make themselves available, you're busy. All right? Stick to the script. Got it? All right. All right, bro. Don't do no fucking Insta dates again. All right. All right. Got it, bro. I think I heard his feelings. I think he's crying right now. The girl who friends on me with the birthday <clears throat> just called me just now. I didn't answer. What should I do? All right. So she's probably calling to jerk you around again and shit like this. Stuff. Be nice. Say, hey, how's it going? Whatever the case may be. Don't ask her when you're going to see her again. Keep it brief. All right. After you ask her one time, you're going to ask her one question. You know, if, if you call her back, you're going to ask her one question. As you're talking, you're trying to get off the phone in a nice way. You're not going to be a dick about it. You don't want her to see that she hurt, uh, but got you butt hurt. All right. Don't never, ever ignore a woman, guys. It shows butt hurt. It spells butt hurt. Diego, girl reached out to me to come to a party, but it got rolled. Didn't pursue her that night after that. Two weeks later, should I reach out or let her do it? No, I will reach out to her, brother. If she reached out to you the first time, oh, you can reach out to her this time. Yeah, I would if, if if in a situation like this, guys, if she reached out to you the first that time, I would reach out to her this time. All right, she done did her part. You got to do some shit. Jay Spark. Just want to say thank you for all these other red pill cutters. You guys are saving my ass. Here's five dollars. Your next beer is on me. Appreciate that, Jay Spark. Uh, all right, let's see who we got here. Next victim. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Hey, what's up? What's up, Solo? Solo TV's in the building, people. Shout out Solo TV 84 is in the building. Shout out. He's late as fuck, guys, but he's here. All right. What's up, bro? Yeah. Yeah, what's up, man? What's up? I remember you said, uh, supposed, yeah, you said you spoke, we're supposed to, uh, Get people who doing what we doing. If we left, they get people who who left too. If we uh if we alpha, let's get some alpha frame. Mm -hmm. Men who uh, know how to be in the masculine frame or shit like that. Mm -hmm. So say you uh you had you had a lot of beta male friends mm -hmm. who you let go. Mm -hmm. no. mm -hmm. How are you supposed to deal with them when you link back up with them and you with your alpha friends or you with your woman or whatever and you kind of really avoid them. No, you ain't got it. You ain't got it. They just don't get the right respect. They, still, they treat you like how they used to treat you. Yeah. Well, this is the thing, guys. If y'all guys, you know, move. It, it, let me just tell you this real quick. Well, let me answer this. That is real hard to change their mindset about you. Well, let me. They're never going to think that you're really doing what you're doing. All right. This is the thing, guys, what y'all guys got to understand. 
if y'all guys see girls that y'all used to talk to or old friends that y'all guys used to be friends with, you don't never have to show butt hurt or try to ignore people. Do y'all guys get that? Y'all don't guys want act like I don't I never was your friend or we never dated. We never y'all guys can be nice and be cordial and keep it moving. All right. You don't gotta interact with them, That's right. but, but you don't gotta ignore them either. You can go up and dap them up. Hey, man, what's up? Such, 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 and keep it moving. All right? So that's how you handle that, brother. You don't got to okay. just act like they don't exist. No, no. That's not what I was trying to say. I'm just trying to say maybe if we in the same situation, like maybe I'll take the same class with the dude. And then he just really believes I'm fresh when I'm acting in my masculine frame and I'm really, you know, talking about ideas and I'm not talking about he thinks he's thinking no more. And he just, you know, he laughs at everything I say that's about making some money or something like that. You know? Yeah. All I can do is just even push it, right? Right. Guys, listen. Y'all think that when I came up with this, now, guys, this is what we call a plug. Y'all don't think when I was finna uh, writing this book and people looking at me, <laughs> motherfucker, I ain't never seen you read a book. Talking about you writing a book. Y'all guys don't think I, w- you know, right. went through that. You know, that's a plug, by the way, guys. That's in, in 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 the entertainment business, we call that a plug. That was a book plug, but guys, um, you don't worry about that. You have what you have in your head. Don't worry about what other people think. You just prove them wrong and do it. But the point of what I'm, you're going to run through that. You know what I'm saying? People going to think that, you know what I'm saying? Even when I was writing a book, I'm like, am I really writing a fucking book? All right. So, but I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm like, I'm going to run into something. I'm going to run into an obstacle somewhere, a publisher, some, some going to come up that this, this shit ain't going to, cause I, you know, I'm not no fucking author. So even you in your head, having your head some, you know, when you're doing shit like, is this really me? So don't, don't worry about that. Just get it done. But the main thing I want you guys to know is whether it's girls in your life or old girls or old friends you don't fuck with, you can always be cordial and just keep things moving. You don't have to be a dick about it. Okay. All right, bro. All right. Be good. All right. No more super chats. Make sure I shout out my man Doug and this motherfucker. Let's see. All right. No super chats. All right. Let's get this call. Yo. What's up, bro? Hello. What's up? What's up, bro? What's up? Speak up. What's up, bro? Speak up. Yeah, uh, I got I got a I got a quick question, real quick, quick uh-huh. question, real quick. Um, so how do we do do, do like people they hitting on you? Like you know how you like your friends? They don't believe in your dreams. Mm-hmm. People around you don't believe in your dreams. How do you do people like that? I I ain't hear what you said, bro. Say that one more time. I say you know how sometimes people around you don't believe in your dreams. Mm-hmm. Like how do you deal with people like that? That should motivate you, bro. That should motivate you. Guys, y'all got to understand, man, that if y'all guys got big dreams and shit like that, it is going to sound outlandish. If you dreaming big, you got to understand, you got to look at it from they side of you. All right? If if, if one of my brothers would have told me they was writing a book, I wouldn't have said nothing to their face, but I would have laughed my ass off when I went around them. I'm going to just tell you that shit now. I would have been laughing my ass off like this motherfucker writing a book. I would have been laughing. So y'all guys got to understand that put yourself in their shoes. Now, me, I wouldn't say nothing to your face to discourage you, but oh, behind your back, I'll be laughing my ass off. Because y'all guys got to understand that we all, most of us are born to just work for people and work, work, work a nine to five and then die. All right. We don't typically think of building your own multi-million dollar business and being a boss. All right. Y'all guys got to understand and take it from how they looking at it. All right. That's the way most people are bred. And if a lot of you guys hadn't found my channel, that's how y'all ass would have been. All right. So y'all guys just got to take it from that aspect that y'all going to be having some lofty dreams and people just going to think that you full of shit. And it's not so much that is not attainable. Y'all won't know where that shit really comes from. Most people don't believe you're going to have a perseverance to dig deep when things get tough all right it, it really ain't the task any task can be done but most people think that when things get tough 
And when that motherfucker ain't making money the first year of making what he thought he was going to make, can you go through YouTube and look how many YouTube channels been abandoned? Just look how many. Go, how many people have you followed that they they had all these hopes and dreams, and then when they didn't make the money that they thought they should be making off YouTube, they just quit. And some of them had a lot of subscribers. I know people on YouTube that got uh, over 100,000, 200,000 subscribers quit, all right, because they really weren't making no money off of it, all right? And so that's why most people doubt y'all dreams. It ain't true, is that they don't think that you got the perseverance to do what it's going to take to get done to see it to the end. So whatever you're doing, it's going to take some doing, and they doubt that you're going to finish it. That's the bottom line. But that should encourage you. All right. I don't let that deter me. I let that encourage you. All right. And that sometimes you're going to doubt your fucking self. Even if you don't say it out loud, sometimes you're going to doubt your fucking self. All right. That's when you got to dig deep and keep going. All right. Uh, all right. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. One last thing. Like, go ahead. You say that when you invite a girl to your crib, how do you, how do you, how do you move the set to that casing? Because you got to kiss the girl to, like, get in the mood. You know what I'm saying? At the house. You don't fuck at the restaurant? At the house. No, I mean, I mean, in the house. In the house. How do you, like, well, I, see them? Well, like, if I do, if, if I do. You got some kissing, right? Kissing. Mm -hmm. and, I, I and kiss. That, and, like, you know, just, yeah, just kissing, you know? I kiss her on the neck, and if I do kiss in the mouth, I keep my mouth closed. All right, because I don't know where the fuck up mouth been the night before. And I'm not even going to get into it with you beta males on this shit today about, you know, believe what the hell you want to believe. But, you know, I don't open mouth kiss women. Do what the fuck you want. If you want to taste my nut from last night, you go right ahead. Knock yourself out. All right. I'll send you a cup on the way. All right. But I kiss women on the neck. Right. And if I do kiss them on the mouth, I keep my mouth closed. All right, that's all a good right. tip right there. All, all right, right, bro. Right. There's one last thing. Like, no, nah, I gotta go, bro. I gotta go. I got I got super chats on here. I gotta go. I gotta go, bro. I said, what do you think about guys didn't ask? Say what? Hello. All right, let me get these super chats right here. How do you set up a one night stand? All right, so if you want a one night stand, you would just set it up from the get go. So when you call or whatever the case may be. I would only even offer to do this shit is if uh, I seen the girl had crazy high interest. All right. That's the only way I would even do it. But if you want a one night stand. Oh, you so you talking about like if you met a girl at a club or something like this right here. That's how I'm going to take it as a one night stand. So if you're saying you met a girl at a club or something like this, the only way that happens, guys, if a woman has crazy high interest in you and she's open to that. All right. But. A woman gonna have to at least see you as an eight, nine, or a ten. All right. And so say let's say you're in a club or whatever the case may be, and you're trying to get a one night stand, and a woman sees you as an eight, nine, or ten, and you saying and doing all the right things, and you can make it happen. But she has to have a crazy if a woman sees you as a six, you, you're not gonna get a one night stand, guys. All right, it's like uh it's solely eclipse to get a one night stand. Everything has to be working perfect. All right, the woman has to be open to it. And you have to be, she have to have crazy high attraction for you and your mouthpiece had to bring it on home, all right? It takes all those things to, to get a one night stand, all right? Attraction level to me is going to be number one because you ain't got time to really build it up, all right? So it's going to be mainly uh, attraction level and it's got to be a woman who's open to doing that. If the woman is in, 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 a, in, a, in a mindset of, She's looking to settle down. And women go through these stages where they go through their little whole freight uh, phase and then they go through their little phase where they want to find a you know boyfriend and all this type of shit. So you need all that shit to be lined up just right, guys. All right. Everything has to be working for you. And another thing, too, is she has to probably be by herself. All right. Because if a girl is with her girlfriends, they don't like to leave their girlfriends. Seconds. They don't like to leave their girlfriends, all right? They consider it rude and shit. Girl, you leaving us for him, all right? So y'all, all that shit have to line up. That's why it don't happen that much, all right? That's why it, it, it happens, but it don't happen that much. That's why, all right? The same way with a solar eclipse. You don't get a solar eclipse every fucking day, do you? So you ain't gonna get a, lot, a whole lot of one-night stands in your life. Not from women that you find attractive, 
All right, you can go out to one of these 300 pound gorillas, and they'll give your ass a one night stand. <clears throat> Shout out Solo TV 84 for the F and K fucker to sleep fun. Appreciate that, Solo. Shout out Solo TV 84. Y'all go check out my man channel. Finding purpose will set you on your journey while obtaining more options, including females. Who doesn't love to have options? Exactly. All right, guys. Being on your purpose, doing all the self-improvement in general gives you more options, guys. Bottom fucking line. Fuck what you heard. Fuck what these other beta cook dating coaches tell you. Do you have to have the best body in the world to attract a woman? Nope. Do you have to have a job to attract a woman? Nope. Do you have to dress nice to attract a woman? Nope. But all those things give you more options. Bottom fucking line, guys. I don't care what no fucking body says. I said it. <clears throat> all right, guys. I got all the super chats. Ten seconds. All right, guys. Uh, how to close when you get the number. Shout up Lotus Media Group. <clears throat> Lotus Power Media Group. How to close when you get the number. All right. So once you got the number, you have closed. That should be the end of it. Tell her you'll call her sometime next week. That's all you say. I'll call you sometime next week. And that's it. Leave it at that. You want to start dancing, don't it? That's what you want to do. You want to start dancing. That's all right. I'm not going to sing tonight. I'll say that for last time. Next time. All right, guys. I'm out this bitch. Clap them hands. Hit the likes on the way out, guys. Make sure you go check out the book, Alpha Male Strategies, in the description on Amazon. Make sure you go buy that. Make sure you go join the Patreon if you're not a patron. All that shit's in the description. And I'll see y'all guys next time. Hit that like on the way out. Hit that like button on the way out. Peace.